What you doing, Greatest Tyranny? Did you protect those sheep last night? Are you dealing with dirt that looks like this in a place where you would like to graze your animals? Well, we're going to talk about how we fix it today. You know, it's an absolute joy that so many people are getting into this homestead space. It's beautiful on multiple levels, and we talk about a lot of that in the podcast. The more you're able to produce your own food, the less you got to rely on others and the powers that shouldn't be. We've covered what to do if you have thorns, thistles, briars, all those things growing up in your pasture. But what do you do when you have a place that is absolutely decimated like what you see here? It's just straight up dirt, high compaction. Only thing that's gonna grow in there are gonna be your pioneer species. We call them weeds, but they're pioneer species. That's really what they are. Give them enough time and then you'll see a transition into something else. Now, I'm using this as an example because it's the most extreme example that we have around here. I mean, bare spots here and there, there and here. We've talked about what to do in those really nasty thorny places, but what, if you, what do you do if you just have bare spots? Or let's say you got patches out in your grazing area. Maybe you let the chickens, like right over here, maybe you left them out there a little too long, and if you give them enough time, they will turn it into a moonscape. Also, another issue that we got going out here last year, William basically came through and he started knocking down all these junk trees that are really, I mean, they're way too close and they're not doing anything worthwhile. Where you can see all the pink tags over here, those are generally trees or clusters of trees that need to come down. That's really not what we're getting out to today. What we're gonna talk about is the simple thing you can do when you have bare ground. Pyrenees shows up every single time we're going to do some filming, don't you? Yep. You don't need hay, buddy. So you're thinking, well, why on earth would a guy be feeding hay when he stockpiled forage? Hmm. Because I stockpiled it precisely whether we did the, we did tree hay. We talked about that. Um, and it works. We've also done other videos on um, how we stockpile forage. And of course that works as well. The sheep are basically moving this way. And right here is the previous hay. Now that seems like an awful waste, especially when you have some highfalutin stuff like this. I think it was like 90% orchard grass, about 10% fescue, something like that. We overgrazed this when we had that bull, okay? So we got a compaction issue. We also have some bare spot issues. Now you got geniuses like the great Greg Judy that'll take a round bale, roll it out. And of course that's a genius method. But for those of you that aren't dealing with that kind of acreage, here's option B. They're gonna eat what they want, and then they're gonna scatter it out. So we'll just throw some more. There's a bare spot right there. What I'm trying to get at here, y'all, is that, like that shirt that I got from Eric Sider, where it's a quote from Bill Mullison, and I'm gonna loosely quote it, where the, the problems of this world become increasingly complex, but the solutions are embarrassingly simple. They're gonna eat what they want. They're gonna spread it out just as they did over here. They're gonna trample it. They're gonna poop on it. They're gonna pee on it. And then sooner or later, the chickens will make their round. It works. In fact, all this area right here was nothing but a mud pit when we first got here. Now keep in mind, in addition to this, they're not gonna stay here. They're only gonna be here, I think, one more day. We basically got them in a paddock where we get about a two, three day rotation. We never leave them longer than three. Let them make their disturbance, put all that carbon on the soil. Your microbes will do all the rest, especially through winter. And then before you know it, you will have a place that is recovered in record time. So put down your put down your hay, poop, pee, trample, move them on, and then come back later on. Hopefully this was a blessing to you. I mean, these are the simple fixes that you really need for your place, but you can't just leave them there. That's that's critical. You can't just leave them there for a month at a time and then wonder why this thing isn't recovered. Because that compaction issue is gonna become a bigger issue, and then you're gonna bring back all the pioneer species that you were trying to get rid of. All right, y'all. Hopefully that was a blessing to you. If you need anything from us, bone sauce, world's best deer repellent. Comfrey, we still got that. If you can dig the soil, you can still plant that comfrey. I've got it all at the website and check out the links down below. Thank you so much for your support. Until next time, this is Billy from Permapastures Farm, where permaculture is my passion. We'll see you next time. What you doing, Greatest Pyrenees? Did you protect those sheep last night? Of course you did. Because you're the greatest, right?